Hey, this is Matt from Vest Squad. Today is Monday, January 10, 2022. The markets opened very weak this morning, and we took off in a trend-like fashion early on. You can see the S&P chart up here in the top left. We gapped down well below uh, Friday's lows, and then we took off to the downside, pretty directional there, over 60 points of range in that selling. And we've since kind of uh, found a bottom, at least a short-term bottom here, and gone sideways and starting to work our way back higher, retracing a good portion of the selling. We're a little bit above uh, the midpoint of the session, so starting to trade back up towards the upper half of the range. And that's what we're going to be looking at this afternoon is what has happened historically when you get that gap down, take off to the downside, and then reverse. So let me go ahead and set this up. I'm going to grab all four instruments. The setup will be based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, this morning we gapped down. I'm going to add that to the test here, gap down. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go to the post open filters and add a little bit of context around what has happened um, since we opened. And what I'm going to add is I'm going to say that the intraday high, the high that's made um, between the open and the time of entry, which is set to 3 o'clock here, I'm going to say that's below the prior session low of day. So I'm going to hit equals down here for below prior day low for where is the high relative to uh, daily levels. It's below the prior day low. We'll have to confirm that at 3 o'clock to make sure that's still true, but that is currently true. And then also I'm going to say that as of uh, 3 o'clock, we are trading in the top half of the intraday day range. So I'm going to hit equals here next to close and top half of intraday range. That's another thing that you would have to confirm at three o'clock to make sure that is true as well. All right. Lastly, I'm going to put us in a similar market environment. We are below a 10 above a 200 day simple moving average. And now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. When you gap down and at 3 o'clock, the high of the day is below the prior day low of day. And you're trading in the top half of the intraday range. This is taking place in a weak bull market environment, which I've described as below a 10, but above a 200 day simple moving average. Historically, just 20 samples here to look at for the S&P, and that's dating back to 2003. For the NASDAQ, just 17 samples. We've got 20 samples in the Dow, 19 in the Russell. The win rate on this for the S&P is coming in weak. 35% of these have closed above that 3 p.m. price. For the NASDAQ, it's 47%. For the Dow, 50%. And Russell, similar to the S&P, at 37%. So slightly weak numbers there as a group. If we look at the average moves, uh, for the S&P, the average wins sizably larger than the average loss. So it hasn't won often, but when it has, uh, the moves have been quite a bit larger there. For the NASDAQ, the average loss is larger than the average win. Uh, the average moves are very similar in size for the Dow, and the average win is larger than the average loss for the Russell. So we're kind of mixed uh, there on the average moves, but for the uh, weaker ones, the S&P and the Russell, both of those have uh, larger average moves to the upside. They um, just haven't had very many moves to the upside. So when they do move up, they tend to move up by quite a bit. Um, but overall, this pattern is kind of mixed. We're seeing win rates that are mixed uh, with the S&P and the Dow is just the ES and the Russell, which has a slightly uh, weak number there on the handful of samples that we have to look at. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.